Hi everyone, I'm back. I will be updating my Stray Kids collection video very soon because I am going to complete all of my album photo cards very soon. I hope, I hope um, my last photo card arrives, I think, next week. And um, I do also have a very important update about a priority photo card that I had. I, I have it now. Um, if you've been following me on Twitter and TikTok, you would know. But I don't think you guys are. I have like 16 subscribers here or something. I'm going to update that pretty soon. Also, I am so sorry that I don't have a tripod yet. I know this is like shaky, but I want to like zoom in on things, you know, like that. So today, this is a really long intro. It's been a minute. <laughs> Today I'm going to show you guys my photo card collecting materials that I use. So I'm going to show you guys the different binders that I use and the different sleeves that I use. I have started collecting 2020 and I have been using these sleeves since day one and I've only started using Dragon Shield for um, my pre-order benefits recently. and. Um, I really like them. If they were a little less expensive, I would get more of them. <laughs> like I would probably use them for everything, but um, alas, they're so expensive so I only use them for pre-order benefits and special photo cards. Anyway, so these are the three kinds of binders that I use. I do have three more Stray Kids binders over there. These two are OT8 as well. Those are for later collections, later releases, later albums. Um, and this is, well, this was my Hyunho um, binder, but it's gotten too small for my Hyunho collection. And so now I just keep my Hyunho bigger merch there. And I keep my photo cards here. My Hyunho photo cards are here. And my Hyunjin photo cards are here, and this is like my first OT8 binder. So what's in here are my mixtape photo cards until go live. Yep, yes, I think go live. Yes. So let's start. Okay, so let me just preface this. Let me put a disclaimer out there that this is not what you have to do. This is just what best for my collection. So if you feel the same way, then this would be a great way to start. Okay, so for my OT collection, I put them in A4 binders. We'll mostly be focusing on photo card sized inclusions, but I will probably talk a little bit about the bigger inclusions as well. Okay, so let's um, do photo cards first. I did mention that I've been using these two sleeves these are both Ultra Pro, not sponsored, but if you guys want to sponsor me, then why not? Please do. <laughs> With 16 subscribers. Okay, so um, these are Ultra Pro Fit Sleeves. These are inner sleeves sized for standard gaming cards. So these are 64 millimeters by 89 millimeters. And, well, I guess they fit those size cards. Okay, so, and these are my outer sleeves, and they are Ultra Pro Gloss Deck Protector Sleeves. And these are the 50-piece pack. They also come in 100 pieces. So these are um, 66 by 91, and they fit perfectly inside each other and inside the pocket sleeve. So um, the reason why I use these sleeves is because with my photo cards, I really like the framed look. Okay, so let me just, I removed it so I could show you guys and it will be more clear. Look at that. Okay, so they look like they're really just well centered. Can you see that? They look so pretty on a page. Like they're so straight. <laughs> they're so clean looking. And I want to emphasize Okay, so these are Ultra Pro pocket sleeves as well. They're just in A5 size. So I just want to compare these two. You can see they're the same photo card, but they're in um, 
the sleeves that I use and these are in Mayday sleeves double sleeved also I used um, this one the purple one for the inner sleeves and the orange one for the outer sleeves let me just show you that the ones in the ultra pro sleeves they're not budging like look see <laughs> I shook that extra hard they just stay there and they look really clean and I really like that Meanwhile, I put that there and it just looks really wonky to me because look, it can move around and I hate that. I hate that so much. See, I tried um, to put Mayday inner sleeves, see, and a bigger sleeve. So that seems to fix the moving problem, but it just looks really... Oh, hi, my love. You're home. My cat is home. I just think that this doesn't look as clean as this one. This one just looks really clean. The edges look really clean. See? Well, this one, it looks like they have different outlines here, see? And it's just really wonky to me. I don't like it. But anyway, yeah. So that's why I prefer this look. So yes, that is why I prefer using these sleeves. Okay. Now I did say that I use these outer sleeves for my regular album photo cards. Then I use these Dragon Shield um, outer sleeves for my pre-order benefits and like special photo cards. For example, um, these. I don't know if I sleeved my IMU pre-order benefit photo cards using Dragon Shield or... Okay, so yeah. I did sleeve them with Ultra Pro outer sleeves. So let's use this as an example. Let's use Hyunjin. And then let's use this other Hyunjin as an example for Dragon Shield. Okay. So, let's see if I can show you the difference, if it's like clear. Yes, I think you can see it. You can see it now, the difference. So the left one is Ultra Pro and the right one is Dragon Shield. And even on camera, it's a little visible uh, and it's a little obvious which one the Dragon Sleeve sleeved photo card is because it's clearer like it's sharper the image look this the ultra pro one makes the photo cards a little cloudy which is you know to be expected because they are double sleeved so look and like i'm fine with that honestly but look look how it's enhanced with the dragon shield sleeves it's just a lot sharper than this one. See? It's like more visible if I do this. But I hope you can see. I hope you can see that this is sharper. This is Dragon Shield and this is Ultra Pro. And I'm fine with this if it's like um, with this sort of visibility if it's an album photo card. And I just, you know, I just can't afford to get this outer sleeve for all my photo cards because it's so expensive in the Philippines. It's like um, 500 per 100 pieces, I think. 500 something, like 570, like almost 600 pesos. That's expensive. And Ultra Pro is a little, <laughs> if not a lot less expensive, so I use Ultra Pro and you know it's fine it's it's manageable now for my pocket sleeves i do use the ultra pro <laughs> this really isn't sponsored i promise but i use the ultra pro platinum um pocket sleeves they have another variation the silver one but i use the platinum one because i my, my friend once bought the silver ones because they were cheaper 
and she said that they were a lot flimsier than this and so I continue to use these. And for other size inclusions, I also use Ultra Pro. For example, I have these eight pocket pages for these large inclusions, three pocket pages for the postcards. Uh, the Ultra Pro four pocket pages are a lot smaller than the BCW ones. I don't understand why. So I use BCW ones for these, for example, for these um, Miro pre-order benefit stickers. I have the eight pocket page again. The three pocket page, I, I just printed this out. These are um, two pocket pages from Ultra Pro. These fit in here. These also fit the stay in playground postcards because these are five by seven. So the Ultra Pro um, two pocket pages are five by seven. I don't know where else to put these. So I just put these, um, these are the Go Live four cut film strips, their unit. And um, I also cut the IDs. I have them here. They're also uncut. In this page, I put them in the postcard, the, the three pocket page postcard um, pages. But I have like a page where I, I cut them and I put them here. So these, these are four pocket sort of from BCW. I just don't know where to put these. I heard that the Japanese photo cards fit in 10 pocket pages, but I don't really collect Japanese photo cards, so I just put them there randomly. What else? I think those are the only odd sized inclusions that I keep in my binder. So, yeah, I mostly use Ultra Pro for the pocket pages. I also use BCW sometimes. But I wanted to tell you about, these are um, A4 dividers. So I use them, let me just, oh God. Okay, so I use them to do this. It's like to straighten my pocket pages because I worry about my photo cards constantly. They keep me awake at night if they're not, you know, if I don't think that they're 100% safe. <laughs> so as you can see, I don't keep this binder like bursting at the seams because I don't want my photo cards to be harmed. <laughs> and to keep them extra secure, like to make sure they don't bend, especially over here since they're heavy, I bought some A4 fillers, binder fillers which you can just get anywhere. These are also polypropylene, just so my photo cards are extra safe. So they're not, you know, PVC or anything. Okay. By the way, and I should have said this <laughs> before, like if you're just starting to collect, um, although if you're here, you're probably not just starting to collect, but if you are, then I strongly suggest getting sleeves that are not PVC but are made of polypropylene. Like how can you tell, right? They usually say acid-free or non-PVC. So acid-free doesn't really mean it doesn't contain acid but it was just a term that um, the trading card hobby, you know, industry created. It's just some term that they coined to like um, indicate that their um that their sleeves don't have pvc in them because pvc will over time damage your cards because it contains um chemicals that will yes over time be detrimental to your cards they will yellow and they will help your paper you know, they're your pieces of paper, your very important pieces of paper, yellow really quickly as well. 
so don't use sleeves with with PVC if you don't want that to happen you will usually see these like non PVC right or acid free let me um so here in Mayday sleeves it also says acid free and no PVC and the um, inner sleeves acid free non PVC see for Dragon Shield they directly say that it's made of polypropylene, which is archival safe and not PVC. So you usually want to get sleeves that are made of polypropylene, so PP. Your photo cards will be already sleeved, put in um, pocket sleeves that are non-PVC. So usually you don't have to buy binders that are non-PVC. But for me personally, I found this polypropylene binder non-pvc you see they're non-pvc i it's made of polypropylene yes um i found the uh, this binder in shopee this one is also polypropylene the brand is bantex um, this big one is elephant they are both from indonesia actually so yeah here for my smaller binder, my Hyunjin binder, I also use, I mentioned this earlier, I also use Ultra Pro pocket sleeves, but they're just in the A5 size. These are A4 sized. I don't really have a lot of Hyunjin other sized merch, but these are like just some of them. These are not even Hyunjin, these are Jinirit. And um, I put them here. My other ones are actually there in my Hyunho binder. And that's because my Hyunjin bigger inclusions are usually paired with Minho. See, I don't even have anywhere to put this. These are four pocket. I wanna find something like a pocket page or like a binder that fits these. I actually found some already in Daiso Korea. And then I'm going to buy those after the comeback. So, oh, why am I flipping? <laughs> anyway, so that's it. Oh, and um, these are D-ring as well. I really like D-ring binders because it keeps the pages flat and straight. Unlike, and I, I'm not saying I regret getting macaron binders but like if I had a choice I wouldn't make them o-ring because look it's just very dangerous but I also have a5 binder fillers for these so it doesn't really worry me that my photo cards here will be damaged but I just wish that these came endearing because o-ring just really makes me, I don't know, anxious for some reason. I don't really have anything here that's out of like the normal size, except maybe here. Yeah, these are just one page. These are polypropylene as well. Sometimes I can't find sleeves that would fit. It's just in here inside a polypropylene pocket page, which is fine. I really do think I overprotect my cards, but it's fine. Better to be safe than sorry, I always say. That's it, really. Like I said, I will be updating my Stray Kids collection soon. I'm really happy and I'm so excited to announce what my priority photo card was that I already have now. It took me so long to get it. It took me like two years to get that photo card and I'm just really happy that it's here. Yeah, so I'll see you guys next time.